working on your classic car, it's not uncommon to have to chase threads on stuff, especially if they either they've been built up with paint or or powder coat or even you know slightly damaged and stuff. It, traditionally, you know, you want to run a tap down into clean up the threads, run a tap down, but we don't always have the luxury of having an endless supply of taps for every nut and bolt there, every different size of nut and bolt we ever encounter. So a quick way to make a nice, you know, I always called it a poor man's tap to uh, basically clean up threads. Start with like a grade eight bolt. That's the size and threads count that you need. I, I begin by putting a slight taper on this. You don't have to. I know a lot of guys that just, you know, go ahead and, and cut these without doing this taper, but I like a little taper on here. And I just do that on the bench grinder. Then I take a cutoff wheel and we'll put, put the glove on so we have a little more safety. And all I do is just make a little bit of knot because this is going to be threading in like this. I, I have a hard edge on this side and I kind of bevel it to that side. And with just, you know, just using a standard three inch uh, cutoff wheel, we can uh, just, we just kind of bevel that in. So now we have a nice cutting edge here. And we can now chase the threads on whatever we need to clean up the threads on. And, you know, it, it, you know it, like I said, it's a poor man's tap but it'll get you by, it'll clean up the threads, get you going for, you know, just the cost of a bolt. And it'll last three, four, or five, six different times before you have to start worrying about bunging up these threads. But uh, good alternative to uh, getting those threads cleaned out, getting your car back on the road.